Traffic camera catches you jaywalking in China. The digital ID system has you, it has your blood. What's going on with all my money motivated stars? And I, as you can see, the dude that I showed y'all in that clip, he was talking about things that's been implemented in China, you know what I mean? Now, like I see, I be reading every, I read the comment section on every video I post to see this is how I do a lot of my fact checking, or if I really feel like ain't nobody in the comment section talking about nothing, I go type it in and search it up, you know what I mean, to get a more in-depth version of what's going on in the video. But as you can see, he was talking about a security system that's being set up in China, you know what I mean? And it get and it really goes off social points. Before I get into it though, I'ma talk about whether it's true or not, because I seen in the comment section, people from China was like, I've been living in China all my life. This stuff is not going on. You know what I mean? Stop letting the media lie to you. And I also seen some people from uh, different parts of China saying, bro, this has been going on for a minute. You know what I mean? And I believe, do I not do I believe it's going on? You know what I mean? Yes, I believe it's going on. I believe it's just, I just believe some people would be so ignorant to the fact just because it's not going on in their hometown that it's not going on. This is like, okay, I'm putting an example like this. A lot of people think a lot of stuff is not going on in their state. And a lot of, nah, a lot of people think a lot of stuff is not going on in America just because it's not going on in their state. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of stuff that's going on in different parts of America that different people don't know, like different other states don't know about. But you will only know about it if some people will only know about it if the government said. It, but some people already know about these things because they research and look stuff up in different states, and they looking they looking up stuff in their state as well. You know what I mean? So if you don't go seeking trying to find this information, it's not just gonna simply come to you. You know what I mean? Unless you get a video of mine recommended in your YouTube feed, or a recommended video of somebody else who's speaking conscious and talking about stuff like this because it's not gonna get out people don't share stuff like this you know what i mean it just people hear it then it's not going on where they from so they click off of it and it's just don't nobody really care until it start going on here you know what i mean people don't like to heed the warning they don't really like they don't pay attention to the smoke where smoke is fire you know so they'll just walk past the smoke because they don't see no fire they rather see the fire. They rather see stuff burning down. Then they want to run or go get help. You know what I mean? People out here would rather just walk past the smoke. You know what I mean? When you see the smoke, you got to go and call, alert whoever you trying to alert. You know what I mean? Or try to go oh, put that fire out yourself. You know what I mean? You going to let the village burn down. You know what I'm saying? So that's why that's what my challenge is for and other challenges like mine, preventative measures. So a lot of people who won't be stuck in this, cycle they trying to put people in because a lot of this stuff is going on because i heard this stuff this video i'm talking about now i heard this years ago so i know it's going on if it's not going on it's finna go on but like i see i believe it's been going on so if you don't know how this system work what i'm talking about <clears throat> it's basically like a body i'm trying to put in an example my my example so y'all can get it it's like a body credit score you know what I mean? They want us to be robots so bad till they didn't set up a system in China. So, and they go off point. So he was saying in the video, if if the camera, security camera catch you jaywalking, they gonna alert everybody and let you know you was a jaywalker. It's like, it's basically like a IG profile that everybody can see, but, but it's not you posting pictures. It's you and what you done did. If you got caught for drunk driving, it's gonna be in the system people gonna be able to know everything it's just like if you want to just like if you if your daughter dating somebody and you want to look up his background you know what i mean it's the same thing we can do now but the background is going to be visible for everybody to see you know what i mean it's like points and if you get caught for jaywalking or something like that or drunk driving or whatever your your social points go down you know what i mean so what what does that mean I mean, it's going to limit you from doing certain things. You're not going to be able to leave uh, 15 minutes out your city. You're not going to be able to, they say, play games. You know what I mean? But in a situation like that, who gives a fuck about playing a game? 
or playing games, going to GameStop, whatever. What else they say you can't do? That really, that just restricts you on a lot of behavior. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you, I think if you drop so low, you probably can't go to the movies with your girl. You can't like you can't do certain stuff. It's like trying to get a car off bad credit. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody really gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So we just like. In situations like this, man, people need to be trying to get ready and prepared. But he was saying he hope people fight it when it comes to the U.S., which I which I think people will. I don't really think I don't think nobody I don't think nobody really gonna go for that in the U.S., man. I feel like the systems that has been set up in the U.S. and the system that has been set up in China, China like was probably more prepping them for that. You know what I mean? I think China grew up a totally different way, so they was kind of already in line when it comes to certain stuff. So that's probably why they people went for it because they probably was more docile and they probably began treated so unfairly in different parts of China till they it was like little to nothing to them. You know what I mean? But we get treated unfairly in uh, America too. But it's just like. We don't get treated that like we we just don't have the mindset. I don't feel like everybody has the mindset to go for that. You know what I mean? Even though a lot of people did kind of conform to them making people get the uh, shot. You know what I mean? Nothing against you if you got the shot, but if it was your choice, I respect it. I don't like you know what I mean? There's a lot of people who was so called. They say they was forced into doing it. You know, like. I just think I ain't I ain't want I don't believe in taking them just so I really didn't con uh, conform to doing it. It don't it don't matter what they would have told me that I, I would have lost or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, that's just me though. Like none against you if you did it, but it's a lot of people who just not gonna go for certain stuff when they try to bring it to the U.S. because they can't forcefully do this stuff. That's why they run. They they actually run a lot of stuff through uh through us whether we know it or not they're not just putting they put stuff in our face and they just like they bully it's like a bully in the school they gonna bully you until you have a problem with it because a bully is gonna only continue the bullying if they feel like you're not gonna do anything about it you know what i mean but once you say hey bro, whether you take a firm tone with them and they stop doing it or whether you whoop their ass you know what i mean you're gonna get your point across when you stand up for yourself. So if the American people don't stand up for themselves, a lot of a lot of laws gonna get passed without people's knowing. Like they just gonna they gonna bully their way into doing what they want to do with uh people, like they've been doing all over the years. Because like I said, they give you cigarettes, but they put a warning label on them. They give you terrible food, but they put a warning label on them. So they make it up to you to decide. Or do you want to kill yourself or not? You know what I mean? Because if they really could poison us and do all this stuff, there would be no warning. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why they have all these commercials. And they, they tell us, you know what I mean? Because so it's, it's, it's up to the American people, like for real. Like it's when they got commercials like Zoloft and all this. And they say, get this for anxiety, get this for depression. But in any commercial, what they tell you could cause death. Could lead, could if simp, if symptoms worsen, call your doctor. If you, you know what I'm saying, they let you know. They saying to heal this, but they saying that in the commercial it can make that worse. You know what I mean? Because it's really not made for your benefit. It's made to put drive people into deeper depression and kill themselves. And they they saying they saying these medicines could kill you, but they telling you though. So it's still up to you. They know people so desperate to get rid of symptoms that they still gonna buy it anyway. And they may die. And you may not. You know what I mean? It may cause bleeding. It may cause, you know what I'm saying, hernia. It may cause, uh, one one uh, commercial said it might cause hemorrhoids. I'm like, bro, how is he folks still buying this stuff? You know what I mean? Like, but like I said, they, they keeping it a book. They keeping the G with you. They telling you what they doing, you know what I mean? They telling you. They're like they when it, when it came to the shot, they said if you get this junk, that was what well, they lied. Then they said if you get it, it's gonna prevent you from getting such and such. Then when people when a lot of people got it, they said it ain't gonna do nothing. It ain't gonna prevent nothing. It's just like gonna be a likely chance 
that you'll be able to fight it off or or you won't get it as quick as the person who didn't get the shot. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, when are we going to stop believing? You know what I mean? What we hear instead of what we like research. We got to do more research and pay attention to videos who like mine who warn you about different stuff, man. Like get your money together. Start trying to really live off grid. There's nothing wrong with it because once you start getting your money together, start trying to live off grid and you get that down pat, you can indulge in this matrix when you so pleased. You know what I mean? You ain't got to detach all way, away from the matrix. That's what people are scared of. That's why they don't want to go off grid because they so scared thinking that they're going to be missing something. You're really not going to be missing nothing. You know what I mean? You're really going to enjoy your peace and all that. But like I said, you're going to be so sit straight and you're going to have your setup. So if you want to do, if you do want to go to the matrix and you miss the matrix a little bit, you can go back for a week. But I I bet you those months you stay off grid and those little trips you take back to the matrix, you going to, and they start implementing these rules that if people don't, stand up for themselves and no rules and the AI start taking over with robots and all this. You gonna, you gonna stay where you at. You ain't gonna be wanting to come to the nation no more. You gonna hate that you ever thought about going back to it. You know what I mean? But like I said, it's only if people don't get with the program innerly and just be like, this is not how we supposed to be living. You know what I mean? But like I said, I don't think it's gonna go down like that in the US. I, I just feel like people, they done raised some savages in the U.S. They just don't know. You know what I mean? All this food we eating, all that. See, I, I think like China got like a little more docile people because the way that they eat. They eat more clean over there. I had friends that's been over there in China. They say, bro, even they McDonald's tastes way different. They McDonald's and they chips, Lay's chips is way healthier. When they came back here to U.S., to US they started getting more, they started getting sick. Just because the food they was eating in China was way more healthy. So, you know, if you're eating way more healthier, you're going to be not so aggressive. American people are so aggressive because of the way they eat. We eating bulls, pigs, rhinos. Not saying they ain't eating none of that in parts of China, but for the majority in China, it's more healthier meat. You know what I mean? You just got you just got to know somebody who went there. You've probably been there before, but for real, that's probably why a lot of them probably... Uh, was raised into their upbringing of uh, they knew what they was like initiation. They knew certain things was going to come. Their parents was probably already with it. Just like a lot of our parents was down with the school system. That's why we was in school. And a lot of us end up taking the shots. You know what I'm saying? When we was growing up. You know what I mean? Because that's what has been set in play generation and passed on generation to generation. So our parents was used to hearing, go get your kid a shot so he can go to school. You know what I mean? So that's how they was raised over this, how we raised over here. So I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna go down like that. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Share the video if you feel like it's important. That's only if you feel like it's important. But make sure y'all hit the like button for sure, man. Y'all be blessed and walking that smoke.